Thank you very much. Thank you. And please. <laughs> I should be applauding you for being, being here and being willing to do what, uh, what you're going to do. Now, I realize, of course, that almost anything I say has probably been said before. They sequester me over there in the Oval Office with all sorts of things they say I have to pay attention to while they all come over here and talk to you and then put me on last. <laughs> but uh, let me just say a few words and then I know where to meet in the other room individually. This, as you've probably been told, is not a brand new idea. Many years ago, the, we did this in California when we inherited a situation that was just almost as bad as the federal situation is. And we turned to the private sector. And what if, if you have not been told some of these things, in reality, what your task is, and I know you must have wondered, well, now, how do we get at this great behemoth and what do we do? Go in and look at departments, at agencies, at whatever section of government it is, and look at it as business people, and as if that were a business you might be thinking of merging with or taking over. And what changes could be made in which modern business practices could be simply put to work to make government more efficient and more economical. That was our instruction to the some 250 who ended up in the task forces in, in California. And then when the recommendations come back, I assure you they're not going to be a report that will go on a shelf and gather dust. We at our end must have a task force of our own people whose job is to implement the various things that can be implemented. In California, there were some 1,800 or more recommendations that came back from our citizens' task forces. We implemented more than 1,600, and they were responsible for taking our state out of the red and with a bad credit rating to a AAA rating by Moody's for bond, our bonds, and in less than two years, a surplus, which we gave back to the people of California in the form of a tax rebate. We ended up giving back such rebates to the last one we gave back amounted $850 million. And when you tell, and forgive me for being partisan, a Democratic-dominated legislature that you want to give back $850 million, that's like getting between the hog and the bucket. <laughs> one, one senator came in to me very irate and said he considered giving that money back an unnecessary expenditure of public funds. <laughs> but, but we gave it back. <laughs> the, let me just give you just a few examples of the type of things you find and then one other thing that I, I think you will also find. The, it, it was amazing. Just things that to you are ordinary and routine but because government kind of gets into a pattern and then people that come into government find that it's been done this way, so it continues to be done that way. We had people who were expert in fleet buying of automobiles, found, I don't know what we'd find in the federal government. We found at the state level that there was no plan for trade-in. There, every department could go off on its own and buy automobiles any way it wanted to do it at any time. And these gentlemen set up a fleet buying plan for automobiles for the state of California that was so successful that we then made it available to counties and cities. That if when they were ready, uh, we would procure for them. They paid for them, of course, but we would procure for them and had many taking this up. We had such small things as, a, uh, as finding that there was a state form that had to be filed and it's kind of storage files. And they found the employees very busily folding these forms over double and putting them in the files. And, of course, that obviously reduces the capacity of the file cabinet by half if you have to double them. So he said, why? Well, the forms had always been printed that size. We just picked up the phone and told the state printer that form X such and such gave the number from now on should be printed in a different size. 
And that year we bought 4,200 fewer file cabinets. They found that there had been no, nothing in government with regard to how many square feet of office space do you require for employees in these large offices doing the same kind of work. And the result was that a contract that fortunately the state had not signed but that we had inherited for calling for a new $10 million building, we were able to throw in a wastebasket and not build the building simply by utilizing this, this method. We even found one place where in our great water program, a canal was planned. And nearby the highway department had planned a freeway. It was going to continue. Now the people building the canal were out looking for land they could buy upon which to dump the land or the dirt they were going to excavate for the canal. And the highway was out looking for land they could buy in order to get fill to build the elevated freeway. And it didn't take a genius to put the two together. <laughs> and in addition to that, then, once having done that, found out that they were going to be progressing parallel down the valley, that they didn't both need motor pools and repair facilities for equipment, that they could pool their resources and just have one center for the equipment and so forth for both jobs that were going on. Well, this is just a sample of some of the 1,800 different things. I could go on. There were we found storage files, not the kind that you have to use every day and go to for reference, storage files of state records that were occupying, and these prices will sound strange now in, after the, a dozen years of inflation, but the prices at that time, that they were occupying $40 a square foot office space when they could be in $2 and a half square foot warehouse space. And so the changes were made accordingly. But in other words, what would you do and look at in that new business you've merged with or that you've taken over uh, if you found practices that were going back into the antediluvian days and that uh, could be brought up to date and improve government? And they did. The savings were in one-time savings of things like canceling a building uh, amounted to some $200 million uh, to begin with. And the ongoing savings uh, made the difference that allowed us to keep on handing back to the people uh, uh, tax surplus or surpluses that we put back in tax rebates. Now, the last thing I'm going to say before I get off of here is you're going to find that there probably will be some people with a chip on their shoulder. They think you're coming in there and you're going to interfere with their lives and their, their work. I think you're going to be surprised also, because I don't think California is that different from the uh, rest of the United States. You're going to find that once they know that you're for real and what it is you're trying to accomplish, that federal employees are going to come out of the woodwork. People who've been there for years and have known about the needless things and the duplication and the useless things that are going on. And they're going to come out of the woodwork to tip you off and tell you and call to your attention these things, and usually I'll predict that they'll say what they said in California. They'll say, we never thought anyone cared before. But now that we know what you're doing, yes, we'd like to help because there are an awful lot of fine, patriotic people out there, proud to be working for government, and would like to see it done better and more efficiently. So God bless you for what you're undertaking and uh, I know you may get tired at times when you're doing it, but just remember, this sure beats talking about it in the locker room after a golf game. Uh, 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 you'll have a chance to, to really get at it. Um, I can't think of a, a good get-off line here, except that I'm to, uh, to go in the next room down here and meet you individually, and I'm looking forward to that. So um, again, a heartfelt thanks. And I think that you're going to have an experience that you will really enjoy and you'll find that you know an awful lot more about government than, <laughs> than you think you know at the, at the moment by the time you get through. Thank you very much.